What's up, homie? In today's video, we're going to be using Stitch Artist Level 2 to make Bulbasaur. If you haven't seen my last video already, we made Pikachu using Stitch Artist Level 1. But today, we're going to be using Stitch Artist Level 2 tools to make a design. Specifically, we're going to be using the column tool. What we're going to do is we're going to first confirm that the design is the size that we want. So what I always do is I make a square, I go to select object, I go to inch, I go to unlock, 5, wait, 4.8, the max. Actually, I'm just going to put 5, yeah. 5 by 5, enter, lock, Actually, it's already the perfect size. I'm just going to make it probably a little bit smaller. Placement zero by zero. Okay, so now it's already the size that we want. So I'm just going to delete the line. I'm going to lock the image again. All right, so we're going to start with the object in the back and then work our way to the front. So the. What is that even called? All right, we're going to start with the bulb. So let's go to create. We need the column tool. So the column tool is basically left and right click. So you, for a left click, you're going to make a right click, which is left side, right side. So this works the same way as the draw with points tool. So if you, if you click and click and you don't hold shift, like if you hold shift, it makes straight points and if you don't hold shift, it'll be making curved point. So if you hold shift. Okay, so I'll delete that. We're going to start. Let's see. This is in the back of those. We're going to start with this right here. So I'm going to hold shift. 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 So it can make the straight points. I'm going a bit, press enter, and it's gonna be a satin column. It already the points that we're drawing are angles, so this one came out good. So now we're right here, and I want to work my way from this part to this, and then this, and then that, and then work my way down to this leg and do the rest of the leg and then do the face. All right, let's go. Let me see, start and end point. Draw with points. Shift. Travel. We're going to travel to right here and then make the satin columns. All right, enter, run. So column tool again. I'm going to go a little bit inside of it. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to let go of it because I want them to be curved. Just work our way up. Hold shift 
right here. I'm gonna click right there and then finish it over here. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna just run to the top and make a start and finish right here at the top. Enter, run stitch. Actually, I could do it either or. So I could just do this, travel over here, do this part, end right here. Or I could just do a run all the way down here and finish over here and continue it. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Critical Z. Whoop, critical Y. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna delete that one. I'm actually gonna travel all the way to the bottom. There's never gonna be a perfect way to digitize. You could just make a design exactly how you want and you feel comfortable. Sometimes you don't even have to you don't have to travel if you don't want to. Everyone has a different way to digitize. I just prefer it because it's like I'm running a design. Instead of it trimming and trimming and trimming it, at the end when you embroider it, there's going to be like so many like spots on the back. And I, that's what I try to avoid. That's why I always use the travel. All right. Shift, let go of shift. Right here, I'm going to shift. Actually, I'm going to do this one again, but I'm going to shift. Now I'm going to make a curve. I'm going to have to edit this one because I'm going to have to have it touch this side more or I can actually no yeah I'm gonna have to make it go over but yeah this is using the column tool is my preferred method of working Okay, I'm gonna click this one. I'm gonna click that that node. I'm gonna hold critical. So now they're both blue, so they're both selected. I'm gonna drag it down. That way, when it when it does this one, this one's under and it's noticeable. Because right now, what I had before was like a little gap. Okay, so from here, actually, I'm gonna click this one and the endpoint. We're just gonna change the endpoint to be right here. Hold on. Actually, I can make it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to rearrange it at the end. So. All right. Let's see. That's in the back. This one and then those. Shift, 
Shift. Travel. Run. All right, so column tool, shift, work our way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange it. So this part, this, 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 this. Okay. So these parts are going to go in the back. Let's see. All right. Yeah, this one. yeah okay. I'm going to hold these and I'm going to drag it to the back, to the bottom. So this first going to be this one. That run, this one. Let's see I'm gonna make the endpoint be right here and for this one I'm gonna change it to right there change it to right here then it's gonna do the run I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete these nodes delete so it's gonna be right there and then it's gonna finish the rest of it The reason I did that was because it, when I re-looked at it, it does look like it starts, this is the back, and then it's these parts. All right, and I'm going to change the endpoint for the last one to the bottom because I no longer need it to end right there. Okay, from there, um, instead of doing a run, I'm just going to do a direct jump to the bottom part. Column tool. Shift. Let go of it. Shift. Shift. Enter. And for these, I am going to do draw with points just because it's easier. Draw with points. I'm going to try to do it exactly in the middle do like a shift right here shift center set and border drag it down to one Start, and I'm going to change the endpoint to be right here. And just do a connection to the other side. Shift, enter, set and border. Well, actually, I'm going to change it up at the end again. So, because these parts actually no that's fine point point
center, southern border, endpoint over here. Shift, set and border. Yeah, that's fine. Down over here. Enter, set and border. Endpoint over here. Charge points. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm drop points. Over here. Set and border. Add that part. So now I'm going to do... I'm going to work my way to this leg. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... I'm going to work my way to this leg. Fill that. Go up. For this leg, do that leg, and then do the face. All right, we're going to do a run stitch. Right here. Shift. I'm going to try to do a time lapse of it in bordering. That way you guys get like a visual of exactly why I do. Why I decide the way I do. Run. Column. Shift. Enter. Draw with points. Shift. Enter, set and border, change the endpoint to right here, draw with points, click, shift, just so I could do that. Got a little cross one over, draw with points, shift for that cornered one. Enter. Set and border, change the endpoint, draw with points, click, shift, enter, set and border, draw with points, Set and border, change the endpoint. Right there. All right. Set and border. So far, so good. Okay, so... up oh, saving. Okay. So, we ended it right here. I'm going to travel to the top. Right 
Run stitch, column tool. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go down right here. I'm going to hold. No, I'm not going to hold nothing. It's going to be a curved point. Work my way down. This is the curved point. So remember, we're going to have to overlap this point. Yep, good. Put it in here. Enter. Now we're gonna have to run to the top. Boom. Run stitch, column tool, top point, down here. Go a little bit more down. There we go, finish the curve. Delete. Let me try to get more of it. Draw with points. Gonna have to do this border. Shift. Curve. Enter, border, endpoint, change, draw the points, click, shift, enter, set and border, draw the points, shift, scroll, enter, set and border, change endpoint, Draw with points, shift, cross, enter, set and border. Draw with points, click where I left off, shift right here, curve this, enter, set and border, and point change, click, let's get out of here. All right, so this is going to have to be a run stitch. Actually, the, yeah, it's going to have to be a run. This shift curve enter run. Column, boom, boom, enter, run, column, work our way back down. Enter. Change that endpoint to right here. Let's see. Yeah, I could delete. I could probably just control. Get a little bit out. That way this one still stands out. Okay. Just a little more. There we go. Save it. Chart points. Enter. Order. Whoop. This is in the back. That's why the positioning matters. But we're going to fix that. So, let's see. 
I got it. Okay. Same. Order. Shift. Enter. Order. Change endpoint. Click. Shift. Enter. Order. Draw it points. Enter border and point change. Draw points, shift, border. Shift. Border. Okay. So what we're going to do is. Let's see. We're looking right here. This is where the issue arises. So I'm going to have to. Make. A travel to the top. Try to do a jump. And I'm probably going to do a jump to the top. And then it's going to do this one. It's going to do this one. Then it's going to do this. So let's see where is it at. This one. I could fill that one first. So yeah, this one's valid. This is where the issue arises. So I'm going to delete this run this column that's going to be moved to the end so what i'm going to do is let's see right here so 36 36, nope. So from 36, it's going to trim and it's going to go to the top. Run. This one's in 36. So what's going to happen now is. Oops, 35. Okay, 35 is valid. Jump. No. This one have to find. Okay. Shoot, jump. Go down right there because okay, so I gotta find this one. Thirty nine. 
just gonna move things around. Okay, those 27 to 33. Okay, I solved it. So, where do I end? Okay, I ended it right here. So, what I have to do is I have to travel to get to this one, then I'll do this and continue it. Okay, so what it is, is this one should have been first, this is second, it should have traveled, skipped to this part, then then this because this is the front. So we're, we're just going to rearrange the last part of it. So I have this part and I just got to do the, those nails and then this part and then we're set to finish the design. So let me click this. You see every other one that's on it. Okay. So I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom. And we're just basically going to be changing the positions for each one. Okay, let me see. First, second. So this one's going to be. Okay, 39. So, drag this, let's next, this one. Okay, 44 is after that one. This one up, okay, we're good. Let me just make sure that the positions are right. So now we're gonna change this third endpoint. Click this, start endpoint, basically change it back. Start endpoint. Whoa. Check that again. Go with this one. This one as well. Start over here, endpoint over here. And then this one too. Start in the middle. Endpoint all the way to the top. There we go. Now we're good to continue. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to verify everything is correct. So I'm just going to click zero and I'm going to just overlook it. This is where it jumps to the bottom. Run to right here. Okay, right here. 
So I no longer need this. So I'm click delete. I no longer need that. Delete. That one's fine. Wait. Is it? Okay, so that's part of something that I have to rearrange. Okay, that goes on here. Such as the leg. That's where I have to add the other one first. Where was it? Okay, this. 27 and 28 have to be added to 30, after 36. 36, okay. Thirty-six. Run over here. Column. And the finish of the column. Okay. And I believe that's perfect so far. Go ahead and save it. Okay. I did all of that. Just make sure everything is correct. Where this run? Okay. Okay, everything is perfect now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to this part, continue this, fill out the face, and then do this part of the ear last because it, to me it looks like this is more out than everything else. So that's how we're going to proceed. So let's go. Column C. Column A. Shift. Enter, make sure you change the input to the last one. Oh, wait, no, the input is going to be right here actually. And the reason why is because exit. I'm going to overlap this. I don't like the way that one came out. There we go. Travel. Run. My next video is going to be on pathing because I noticed that's something I have to do before we even make the design. I just been jumping on making the design that I got to show the complete steps. All right, we got that part now. So we're going to do a jump, which is basically going to go from here to this part.
change. I'm gonna change these nodes. And click it, code critical, and click the other one, and drag it down just a bit. That way it could enter, it could cross over. Save. So from here, it's gonna jump to do the rest of those outlines. Column. Do the smile. It's gonna jump again, so I'm gonna do these. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to make the nodes gonna be again the column tool, shift, then I'm gonna let go of it, shift, enter, okay, change it up. I'm actually going to make it three. Okay. Same thing for the other side. Shift. Then work my way to the bottom of it. Shift. Enter. I'm going to do the other part. And I'm going to use the column tool. Shift. Enter. Column tool. Shift. Enter. And drag the end point to the bottom. So far, so good. So these are actually going to be what's it called? Um, satin columns, satin borders. Before those outlines get made, I'm going to make those first. So, first, what I'm going to start with is going to be this one. I'm going to hit the curves right here. Nope, I don't like that one. Enter, I mean, shift, and then back over here. Enter, side and border. Draw with points. Continue it. Enter border inner border Let's see the end point here there we go. Okay.
Enter border. Whoop. Let's see this. I don't like it. Let me see. To make it. There. Border. There we go. All right. This part of the eye first. Enter border where we left off right here. Touch the part where we left off right here. So it could just intersect with it when it borders. Delete, delete, enter, border. Border Border I don't like this part. Shift. Border. And this eye. Border. Border. All right, so most, actually all our lines are done. We're just gonna have to rearrange them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start, basically I'm just gonna arrange one part of the line. It's gonna be this one. I'm gonna move this one actually to the, not to the first, let me see. It's gotta be before it hits this line. So I'm gonna put it at 26. 27. So that one jumps to this. Then it does this. That way it could be underneath it. Now we're going to fill in the design with the color. And for that we could use either the column tool or the draw with points. I'm gonna use the column tool. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm basically just gonna go over it.
Spinner is going to be a fill. And in that fill, I'm going to change it to green. And put green thumb. And for this one, I'm going to have to actually going to do draw with points. But I'm going to try to make it easier for me. I'm going to click critical C, critical V. But, oh wait. Let me see. Can I change it to no lines? Right now, I'm actually not going to be able to. Let me see. Can I? No, I can't. Actually, I'm going to delete that. So these are going to go first no matter what though. If you see right here, it doesn't really matter. Let me see. Yeah, I might do draw with points. So I'm going to click here. I'm just going to work my way around it. Shift. I'm trying to get like the closest to the middle that I can. Because I want the satin border that we just made to cover it. So each part looks like it's its own section. Oh, I'm actually meant to hold shift right here. Enter, fill. This one's way too small. Let me see. The last part right here is way too small. So it might not even show up. But we're still gonna still gonna do it. Fill. It's going to be this one, this one, then that, and then this. All right, let's see. It's funny if you go slightly over just a little bit. Well, actually, I'm not going to do this one because it's going to be a whole different like angled point. For the bottom one, it's fine if you go over a little bit because we're still going to go over um, over that with um, the blue color. Delete. This has to be a straight point because you're gonna hit a new curve over here. Enter. Fill. I want the end point to be over here. Let me just rearrange these endpoints. Okay, so it's gonna start right here, it's gonna end right here. So the next one's gonna have to do start over here, like basically where it ended. And the endpoint, I want it to be over here because, well, this one's next. So it's gonna be start. The red one's gonna be the finish. It's gonna be right here. Go to here. Start is gonna have to be right here. Endpoint right here. So right here, shift, shift. Shift, 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 curve. Curve, curve, enter, fill. 
So now that part is done. So I'm actually going to move these to first. So now it has those filled out. But I'm going to change. I've changed this to emerald black. Oh, there we go. So now we get a look at how it is going to come out. So far we have that. Now we got to do the body, the spot, and the eyes, and the nails. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the nails. So for the nails, actually, I think it's going to be easier because then we're just going to click them. Hold critical. Okay, critical, 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 critical C, and then click the white part, click critical V, and then I'm going to change it to a fill, and then that fill, I'm going to change it to white, white, fluorescent white, okay, then I'm going to move that to first, so it's going to do those white spots first, and then it's going to do those, and then for our spots, let's see. Let's see. This, this. Oh, wait, that one's not filled out, so I can't fill that one in when I copy it. So I'm actually going to do, do that one manually. But all the other spots. Yeah, all the other spots I'm, I am going to be able to do. So critical C. Click here, critical V. Fill. And what color is it? I think it was like blue, huh? Admiral Bloom. Let's see. I'm going to just select that for now. But, okay, let's move that to the first. I'm going to rearrange the first parts for the colors after, but this one. Okay, I'm actually going to do the critical C, critical V, but I'm going to click. I think it's click. Yeah, double click. So I'm going to add a node. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, and then I'm going to just drag it to the other one now it's like a full one right but now i'm gonna hold on the endpoint still got to change that to over here okay fill and now oh it's blue so let me just change that to first what was color admiral blue 1962 1962 I'm going to go on YouTube, click to two. Admiral Blue, there we go. So now that is done. Um, let's see. The eyes. Okay, the body and then the eyes. But I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the... So, the red part first. Yeah, the red part first and no the white the red and then i have to save this one for last so i'm actually i'm actually i'm gonna do the red first and then it's gonna do this white and then it's gonna do this one i'm gonna try to make an effect for the eye for the people so it comes out looking nice so yeah i'm gonna use the column column tool for that one so let's see Shift. Enter, fill, and again, we're going to change it to white. White, fluorescent white. The other side, column tool, shift, hold shift still. Actually, I'm going to go on the, on the right side and just work my way down.
shift shift right here too and then this part right here shift all of it fill okay that's filled out but this is supposed to be a fill not a column border so fill and then that, that one actually is so move first in it but this part okay so it's gonna do white and then actually no yeah the red and the white and then the people so i have a effect i want to try out for that people but first let me fill in the red part um change the color color red barn red up oh, critical z barn red I'm not even select all oh, there. I didn't have nothing selected. I don't know why I changed the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do it manually. Save it now. Up. Okay. Column tool. Shift. And work our way down. Shift, shift, and then this part. Just a little bit more. Just want it to be the whole thing covered. All okay, right, enter. Now I'm going to change it to red. Find red, enter, fill. Now the other side, again, column tool. Shift. Then I'm just going to work my way down with curve. Fill, move first. All right, so for the eyes, I'm not gonna do the star. I'm just gonna do um, a regular circle. Let's go. Enter, fill, let me get column. Yeah, it's going to be a column. Let's see. Make it four. All right, for this one, I'm going to make it the Saturn part a tatami for the eye because it's way smaller. Thinner, fill. Change these to white. With these, we have to rearrange it, but. There we go. Now I just have to do the body and we're good to embroider it. All right, so we're, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw with points. Actually, I'm gonna do the column. Shift, shift. Enter. I'm gonna change that to blue. Blue. Let's go. Or like a baby blue. Yeah, I'm gonna put baby blue. It's gonna be a fill. It's gonna start right. Go down. Start right here. And over here. So I have that part done. Actually, I'm at the it's not back okay and right there 
Um, I'm going to make it run over here to this part, then to this part, to this part, this part, this part, and then the face. And we're good. And the ears. Probably the ears, I'm going to have like a different angle. So draw it point. Enter, run. I still do draw it point. I mean column. Shift. Oh, this is a column. Forgot. Can you go like that? See, where can I start this? Where right here? Nope. This one's gonna have to be a shift. Now, we could continue. Enter. Start and finish. Change it over here. Let's see. Over here. All right. Column tool again. Right there. Trying to get a little bit more closer. Shift, 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 enter, and over here, that's going to be a fill, travel to this part over here, run, column, I'm going to start it over here, shift, Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off right here. And I'm gonna just work with it. I'm hold shift. I'm gonna go shift. I didn't like this part, so I'm actually gonna redo it. There we go. Fill. Change the endpoint. Let's see this. There are two of them. All right. Start one point over here. Nope, I'm going to put it to the bottom. I don't want that angle messing up right there. All right, we're on down here. Run. 
column. So, and this one I'm actually going to have to paint it up more over here. Just so it's more covered. So now the endpoint is right here. Now I just got to do the face. I'm actually going to do the whole face all together. So, draw with points. Shift. Shift. Enter, fill, and now we just rearrange. So, let's see, curve will see. Right. Yeah, I'm with the input over here. There we go. So, now I'm just going to reorganize it. Let's see, move first. I'm going to make some slight changes. Let's see. Click this. Oh, hold on. All right. Click it right here. Hold critical and click the other dots. I'm going to move it lightly. And inward. And just to make it like a more defined outline. All right. And this one, what I'm going to do is let me check this. Like just a little bit too in, too out. I mean, so make it like that. Um, the border, these borders. Oh, wrong one. This border and this border. I'm gonna change it to two. No, not two. One point five. One point eight. Yeah, one point eight. Um, these as well, I'm going to change it to, I'm going to change those to two. Just so it's more defined. And let's see what else. These ones as well. to two hmm should we change anything else okay. I feel like that's pretty good all right so I'm gonna embroider this and I'm gonna show you guys the results here's the way it came out it came out pretty good just two errors that I caught which was just this part 
but I'm gonna do a test on the size of the columns because on in brilliance for some reason it looks good but then I also feel like I'm making it too big but when I embroider it it's not big enough so I'm gonna run some tests I'm gonna use that as notes going forward 